Climate change is trending topic these days. Why? Because the havoc has begun. India is being flooded. There are hurricanes in USA, soaring temperatures in Europe. Glaciers are melting, forests are burning, animals are dying. And we are the cause of them all. We have been watching a lot of noise on the climate change action. We can get angry saying the governments of the world are not giving it enough attention that it deserves. But how do you getting angry really gonna help? Why should we wait for the governments to wake up and do something about it? Why should we wait for policies or ban on anything for us to get started? So what can we, you and me, do as individuals for climate change? Let's find out. Hey there, I'm Aparna, your certified coach, bringing to you tips, tricks, tools and hacks that can help you upskill your life. Climate change impacts all of us, but it impacts to the maximum. Those who are making a lot of noise about it and those who decide to change themselves and their environment so that they can make a larger impact. I'm assuming you are type 2. So what can we do to make that change? The biggest issue that is plaguing our world right now is plastic. Well, plastic by itself is not really bad. What is bad is that we are throwing it all away. If you want to change anything, you can start by not throwing things away. Don't use and throw. Stop disposable everything. And I mean plates, spoons, cups, straws, bottles. First of all, make an intention that you do not want to buy anything plastic. But if you end up with one, at least don't throw it away. You see, use and throw is the actual problem. So don't do that. You use, reuse and re-reuse until you can. And if you cannot use it any further, then put it out for recycle. Or you can alternatively look at creating some crafts out of it. There are tons of videos online which can teach you how to create a, you know, crafts out of these plastics. But whatever you do, do not throw it on the ground. The second trick is that you save on energy, all types of energy. Change your devices to energy efficient devices like LED bulbs, just replace LED bulbs and there's a huge discount nowadays that is available on these products. If possible, install solar energy in your home. Switch off all your lights, TVs, ACs, fans, and even your Wi-Fi box when not in you. Unplug them whenever possible. Get a full load onto, into your washing machine before you start a cycle and ensure that you use cold or lukewarm water and not hot water. Hot water rinse or hot water wash is actually damaging not just to your fabric but also to the environment. Don't use ACs unless you're melting, like really. Another great way of saving energy is to carpool or use public transportation wherever possible. Get creative in figuring out how do you get to your destination and believe me, in the time you spend not driving, you can actually use it more constructively. So save energy wherever and whenever possible. The third thing on my list is to consume less. I know the more we consume, the better it is for the economy, but it is not really good for the environment. Capitalism is ruining our planet and we cannot let it happen anymore. Simple living is a virtue that is taught by Bhagavad Gita. This the Western world sees as primitive, but minimalism is catching up all over the world, which means you are consuming less and less material things. Spiritually too, when you consume less, you are actually on path of detachment. So look around you for your consumption patterns and see where you can stop. For example, are you buying clothes when you don't need them? Are you wasting food or water, especially when you are eating outside? Living a minimalistic lifestyle will not just save a lot of money to you, it'll also do a whole lot of good to our planet. Let me quickly summarize them for you. If you want to do something about climate change, then you can start with this. Number one, do not use and throw. Whatever you have, please use it, reuse it. And if it is beyond reusing, then repurpose it or recycle it. Number two, you save energy wherever and whenever possible. It's just a matter of getting into a habit of switching off the lights in your room as you're stepping out. This is something that is already there in our DNA. So just wake that up and put that to work. And number three, 
consume less the lesser we consume the more happier you will end up being and that's exactly what minimalism also teaches you wait a minute how is this really going to help climate change well when you make a change within yourself and around you you are leading by example and when you talk about it you tend to influence people around you to also make those positive changes this is exactly what our prime minister narendra modi ji has been talking about jan andolan having a simplistic life where you care about yourself your health your family your environment and ultimately to your country and the world do you have any other ideas that we as individuals can do to add to our climate change action if you do do let me know in the comment section below or you may reach out to me in any of the social media platforms that i am in thank you so much for watching if you like this video do hit a like button share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it already subscribe and also hit the bell button so you'll never miss an update from me i'll see you next week until then take good care of yourself